Hi everyone, sorry that I was a wee bit late, uh, but we are starting the finale of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. We're going to be so ready for Resident Evil 8, it's going to be great. As always, I have chat open and I am looking at it right now. I'm just switching on. Oh, did I switch over to... One second, folks. Apologies. <clears throat> uh, I need to switch over to this one. I'm making myself smaller. Sorry, this was chaotic. I had to run the stream later than expected, which I apologize for, because um, I had other things to do <laughs> that just took a lot of time. So, <clears throat> yes, like I got shut open and we are here. So we left off, we did a lot of resource management. I was sleeping and thinking about the resource management that I did. Uh, I think that Maybe we have one too many things, but I feel like if there's a lot of items, you know, I'm actually regretting. There's a, there's a regret about getting the 44 mag because apparently you can't craft bullets for it. I did Google, can I craft bullets? And the, the Google said no, the computer said no. So for that reason, I think maybe that wasn't the best decision. Um, I think maybe I should have went for reloading speed, but We'll just have to proceed. So we're going into the salt mines and apparently this is the last chapter of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I'm very excited. I don't remember anything. Obviously I've never, I've never played this before. It's the first time. But I definitely watched people play it when the game first came out. But like I got nothing, you know? Okay, well, the new ammo, two shots does the trick. Thankfully, they're waiting patiently for me to come in single file. Perfecto. We have so much ammo that, like, I'm going in guns blazing. We're going to use up our ammo because if this is the final part, the fun of doing resource management in Resident Evil is knowing when to have fun with your weapons and when it's safe to do that that's usually towards the end of the game when you're just absolutely jacked full of weapons guns ammunition craftables in this case you know having the chemicals and then the gunpowder I don't even think I have a knife attached it's like don't even worry about it And it's just more shotgun shells. Like, we are so ready. We're using the more powerful shotgun. You know what? Maybe it's a good time to double check. Did I not bring the shotgun? I think we should bring the shotgun. <laughs> I think I met. I did make a mistake after all. I think grenades are good, but I think we do have a lot of shotgun shells. I think it's good to bring the gun of the weapon they're giving you ammo for. Just in case. Just in case. Um hilarious game was like you cannot come back here uh let me just quickly grab shotgun because uh, we did repair one so it's not the m37 we want the m21 it packs quite a punch and i think it's just a solid one to have because we're going to have a lot of shotgun bullets i mean we have 27 in fact can i pack any more mm. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. And I think we're just going to like take weapons out of commission as we're out of ammo. I mean, and then just kind of cycle through our weapons. Because obviously we only have four, like four quick access weapon slots, but we have like six guns on us. 
So my strategy is just to kind of take that approach because like we're about to finish off all the ammo on this one. Um, burner fuel, like we are loaded of ammo. In fact, I think our inventory is full now. Um, maybe this strategy won't work at first. Uh, um, well, how about we uh, commission this as this gun, right? Now hear me out. We fill it up to the brim and then we put some of the ammo away. Because it's the only way we're going to be able to carry all these guns with us. I'm probably dragging this out. It's probably a very short chapter, knowing my luck. It's been like 20 minutes and we're done, but just in case. Um, I don't want to wait the survival knife. I just don't think I'm going to use it. Okay, false start. Let's go. Uh, I will change this to be the shotgun because let's just use it up. And once you meet any big folks, I will absolutely use the Mag 44. I'm excited to use the Mag 44, but apparently ammo is so scarce. But I don't think I'm gonna have to be careful with it. Because our new pistol. Oh, wait, I have the Mag 44 already equipped. Okay, we'll go through the shotgun first. Oh no. I'm nervous. It's not too scary anymore because we just have so many weapons and so much firepower. Oh no, this is the. Uh, the mines, the salt mines. Oh, -ho. yes. We are doing an all weapons run <laughs> of Resident Evil. We got all the goodies. Oh, wait, why would that even be a thing? Apologies if you hear any dogs barking. Guess we will use this gun just to clear that out. Oh, what did I say about not carrying a knife? Oh, how clever of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to say, the Mac 44, that oh, works a treat. Uh, can we take first aid med? Well, we can just use some. And then, we'll take some. That. I suppose I can use this. I think I'm on the wrong side to blow that one off. I don't think I need another herb. Nah, I'll take it. Because, again, I went to the School of Resource Management. But I don't think we need it. How do we climb up? This shaft. Um. Oh. Hmm. Am I stumped? A little bit. Oh. Am I at a dead end? Or am I just being very silly? Oh, sorry. I couldn't even see. Salt mines. Who knows? What? 
Oh, remote bombs. We love to see them. I should use more of those. I mean, we have so much firepower. It's kind of incredible in a weird way. Like, maybe I'm just going to finish up the pistol and then we'll move on to the explosives. is there. Who wants some of this? So we might push this. <clears throat> yeah, I think we need to push this. Let's do it. of that. I swear I thought I saw someone up there. I think if we go up the steps. Oh, ho, ho. that was a close one. Like I nearly walked head first. And so, oh, some of them are explosive. So I made a good choice of keeping the knife because, frankly, we didn't enjoy ourselves. <coughs> okay. Oh, is this another save room? That's fine. Uh, thanks to you guys, but a week so my head's been clear back to normal, and she still thinks she got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. This whole family obsession, something you guys programmed into her, it's fucked up. Hmm. So this Evie girl is like a real science experiment, which is classic Resident Evil fashion. No surprise there. Um, very much like the movies, which is weird. I just never would have assumed the game would go that direction. Because they've been pretty far away from the films up until now. Uh, all right, boss battle in here. <coughs> um, Vex the human, mold. So it's like some kind of malignant force that starts like in the chest. Five minutes after dose, vomiting, dosage test. One thing that I thought would have been cool with Resident Evil, the new, like the games and stuff, is if it leaned more into its Eastern European and Russian mythology, because I don't think we get that a lot in games, and I think it'd be interesting to have. What's in here? Oh, we could have met a second serum for Mia. Damn it. I'm guessing you put a tissue sample there. <coughs> uh, this destroys cells of any subjects based on the E series bioweapon model. So this must be the E virus and not the T virus or the G virus or any other 24 letters in the alphabet that resident people use. <coughs> Excuse me. Confidential. So they, they engineer this for battle. Hmm. 
Wow. That's CIA, USSR, or whatever the USSR military is. <laughs> like, they're, um, whited out, redacted um, acronyms are very easy to imagine. MI6, CIA, and then whatever that was, it was the USSR. So, it's about the organisms. Um, okay, the fungi. Hmm. The serum is going to be fatal. It's used to dispose people rather than a cure. I think they make more of it. Like open a Pfizer center. Look, we have so much. We're already at another save point. Um, throw it away. Flame rounds. I'm so glad I brought the grenade launcher. In fact, should we get some more flame rounds? I forget how you make flame rounds. It's like, you need to... Is it the supplements you need? And then you mix them? Oh wait, no, it's solid fuel. And neuro rounds is the one where you... Um, do we have fuel? I got used it all to make burner stuff. So I'm gonna say we don't have any. I mean, we could make some, but it's gonna take up another inventory slot. And we just, we have too many items. Too many items. Let's save. Mm-hmm. I just want to say guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching play Resident Evil 7. Um, it's been a lot of fun playing. I'm so excited for Resi 8. Um, well, what's this big door? And uh, I'm glad I played it after all these years. I thought I'd be too scared to play it, so I just watched other people play it when it first came out. I think many people do that with horror games. You're too scared to play them. But I think because I played like the first three trilogy, it got me more pumped up for this because it's made me braver. And I kind of understand the format more of a Resident Evil game. That towards the end you do become a bit more juiced. You have a lot more tools at your disposal. <laughs> so someone's singing, a little girl singing. This is Evie. The Honest Sea Gaming, thank you for tuning in. How's it going? Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are watching from. You're a huge fan of Resident Evil and Tomb Raider? Yeah, so Tomb Raider for me is still number one, but Resident Evil is fast becoming my favorite, uh, becoming a favorite franchise of mine. It turns out I'm pretty good at it, or I can play it, which is usually a sign that, oh. I am at the end. We have hours of streams on this channel. I started it like a Tuesday or something, and then I went for it up the weekend. Quite later, this is my earliest stream I've done so far. Um, it's harder to stream during the day. It's easier to when everybody's asleep at night. So she's vomiting all around us, so maybe we'll need to use the vaccine for ourselves. Oh, wait, we have bombs. Hey guys, come on. We're fine. It's 9.41 p.m. for you. Yeah, it's about an hour behind. It's 8.42 p.m. here in Ireland. So, hello, France, Spain, Germany, whatever country you're in. Thank you for tuning in and watching me. I just completed this game on stream. Oh, congratulations. Did you do it on Nightmare Difficulty or what? Did, I'm playing on normal. Um, that's why the game's probably taking me a bit longer to finish. Like I watched some people do it in about six hours, but they're playing on easy. But on, like I've been doing a lot of resource management. 
I've gone easy. I'm just watching all these people like dispose of items and they're disposing all these items and like they're not doing anything and I'm just like that's crazy. Like the gods of resource management would not like this. Yesterday you posted content of the main campaign. Oh, congratulations. I'll check it out on your channel afterwards. Burner fuel, not enough space. Whoa, oh, well, I... Oh, wait, they keep spawning, so like I should just get out of here as soon as possible. Oops. My bad. I mean, I might as well use them. Oh, what? How did I get caught up in that? What? Sorry, folks. I'm, I'm off my game, apparently. Who would have thunk it? I'm so excited to play the demo, but I don't have a PlayStation. I should have bought the PlayStation. I had a chance to buy a PlayStation, but I was like, you know what? I'll wait a few months because I have the Xbox. And I was like, I'll let people who really need a PlayStation get their PlayStation. I'll get one, like, in a few months, I'll... Maybe they'll come out, like, with a new smaller one. And now, with the Resident Evil 8 Village demo is an exclusive. And I'm like, no! Hang on, I'll read your chat in a second. Oh, not again, bitch. Okay, it's time to use the steroid. Might as well. Uh, you have 30 minutes to play the demo. Oh, Yeah, I watched Eurogamer and Alana play it. It looked a lot of fun. It's very linear though. I, I assumed you'd have 30 minutes to like they were like, oh, you have 30 minutes to explore the village and stuff, but they all, it's, it's a linear path. You all have to do the same thing. It's not like an open world type. You have 30 minutes to do whatever you want. It's very much, you have 30 minutes to go on this set piece. Like, did were you able to do anything different or did you end up going into the house with, um, well, I don't want to spoil it, but did you go into the house where, like, all that crap goes on. <laughs> Just because people are watching this and they don't want spoilers for Village, but did you go into the house with the, you know, they go into the room and then that happens? Like, I think everybody has to play the same thing, which is really weird. Like, I thought... In the presentation, they're like, oh, you can do whatever you want in this village. And I'm like, you can't. And everybody seems to get to the same place at the same time, because everybody's demo is finished at the exact point. You cannot say. Oh, okay. No worries. I guess I'll just have to watch your stream. <laughs> We can do this. We're survivors. We're like a Lara Croft. Except she's against Umbrella. 
so yeah I know one demo is the village once the castle it just seems like everybody did the same thing in the village from what I watched on YouTube you pre-ordered the game and then you'll stream it what what one did you pre-order like I'm becoming a fan of Resident Evil as a franchise but I don't think I'm quite there yet to buy like the ultimate deluxe edition I'm like I might just get the basic game um, I'm not sure though because I do like Resident Evil and there might be lots of content which, which one are you gonna get thank you that's very sweet and generous of you where the hell did that spawn oh no I'm not gonna get my bomb out that way What? Mag 44 works. Oh, I'm cornered. I'm cornered. I guess I just have to fight my way out. I'm cornered, damn it. I'm cornered! Oh boy, do I wish I had the shotgun equipped right now. I just got cornered in... I mean, that was a false start, guys. I got cornered. I got the standard edition this time. Uh, when it was Resident Evil 2 remake, I got to do it because I was working back down two monsters just like this. I got cornered. That was so not fair. I got cornered there. Hang on. That was a false start. We'll, we'll do better this time. <clears throat> Famous last words. I think, though, the machine gun isn't what we need for that creature. I think it's either going to be the flamethrower or the burner. I'm thinking the rocket launcher. Okay, so about blocking, I forgot which button that is on the Xbox controller to block. I think it's square? Circle? Oh, it's L1. It's RB. L L LB. Okay, sorry. I still refer to Xbox buttons as PlayStation ones. Okay. We are so ready this time. What? I reloaded this thing. That was easier than expected. Okay. Uh, when the enemies, you try to block them. So that was my problem with this whole Let's Play, is I forgot to block characters. Um, except for Umbrella, it's first person. It's a shooter game. I've only played the first trilogy. Um, in no particular order. I've played first Director's Cut. I've played second remake, third remake, and I started the first remake again because I haven't played the remake of the first one. And I actually have the first part of that ready for YouTube, but I'm going to hold off on it because I'm going to do number eight when that comes out. So I'll keep, I'll, I'm going to push number one back by a few months. Um, and then obviously I've done seven now and I'll do eight. So I've done, I'm, I'm not going to do four, five or six for a while. And I heard there were a few bad Resident Evil games. I've heard like, yeah, the more actionary ones, the shooty ones are pretty bad. There's like one that takes place at the same time as Resident Evil 2. And that's like a shooter game and you can like kill Leon at the end or something, which is really funny. Like I've heard there's a few milked in the franchise, which is kind of interesting because Tomb Raider really only had one bad entry with Angel of Darkness. But Capcom, 
probably have made a few bad ones. And it's like revelations. I think those aren't supposed to be amazing. I like the more resource. I heard the four to fit and the six is less resource management, and I really like resource management. So your favorites are the Resident Evil 3 remake. No, sorry, Resident 3 original and the remake are your favorite. That's awesome. I liked two, and I liked the first director's cut. But I haven't finished the original remake yet. So. Mind map. Oh, so it's a point of no return. Because there's no loot crate. Damn it. I think the Resident Evil 3 remake I played was good, but it was very short. It was surprisingly short. Like, you can watch it on my channel. It only takes like four hours or like three hours to watch. Granny was here. This was her wheelchair. Oh no, is Granny Evelyn? That's the doll of Evelyn. I thought Resident Evil 3 remake was amazing. Like I just, it was, a, it was a short game, but I thought it was good. I think Resident Evil 2 was longer. And it was longer in a way that never felt padded. I think, did I complain that Resident Evil 3 was padded? I don't think it was padded. This game was padded on the ship. Oh no, this is the beginning of the game. Oh, how far we've come. We've come so far. So we're back in the Baker house. In the guest house. This was a little padded for me on the ship, if I'm being honest. Very padded. I thought they had released a compilation too, uh, on a sea gaming. I thought we'd get, yeah, like a remaster or something. Was the original third game short? You know, I haven't played the B-side of two yet. So I played as Leon, so I still have to play as Claire on the B-side, and I'll probably put that on YouTube. I played the first two on YouTube, and I just forgot to upload them on, on Twitch, and I forgot to upload them. So I've moved my stuff over to YouTube permanently. Like I'm going to just stream on YouTube. Oh, look, that's us. She was there. This is your fault. You're the one who invited us this. out here. You invited us out here. I'm actually nervous about doing the B side of Resident Evil 2 because apparently you're supposed to like leave stuff for your second playthrough, like you're not to pick up every item because your second playthrough will need it. And I'm pretty sure when I was Leon, like again, I'm a very comprehensive picker upper of items. So when I play as Claire, there probably will be like no gun ammo or anything left for me to have. So I'm very nervous. What? Ethan, it's okay. Ooh. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, I see. You shouldn't have done that. It was mind control. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. She has a creepy. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Leon was good looking in Resident Evil 2. He was very handsome. <laughs> That's why I played as them. I usually like to play as the female character, but I was giving my Twitch viewers some eye candy. Unfortunately, when I play the B-side for YouTube, I'll be as Claire. 
Claire looks awesome. She has like the leather jacket. She's iconic in her own right. But good to know Leo's your man. I think I like Chris. I like how he looks. I have, I started the Resident Evil remake and we picked Chris in his new outfit. Not the one from the first game. It gives you two outfit options. I went for like the one where he has the muscles and that's kind of more my type of guy. Um, because like he started his steroid abuse, but like it has, hasn't gone too far just yet. He hasn't been punching any boulders in that outfit. <laughs> He's at the beginning of a steroid abuse journey. Can I just see? <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm so out of here. Uh, your favorite Tomb Raider the one, the original, Tomb Raider 3, Legend and Rise. I also love Shadow, Tomb Raider 2013, Anniversary and Underworld. My favorite Tomb Raiders. You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play Looks like a vaccine. You'll infect me, but I have vaccine. I'm not playing. No! Get them away from me! Be your pity. Oh, cool. Can I like just use the di giant grenade on her? Look, I don't think he's incredible Hulk, Chris. I He's begun that journey, but he hasn't gone there yet. He hasn't punched any boulders. I don't think like his testicles have shrunken from the steroids at this point. He's very much early days of steroid abuse. And if he could just stop there in the Resident Evil remake, that would be peak Chris. Okay, but my favorite Tomb Raiders, my top three are number three, Anniversary. Number two, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And then number one, Tomb Raider 2, 1997. Uh, classic. The ages. Mm. I mean, where do I go? What? Must be upstairs. I'm sorry. Does the game not realize we're jacked? I can just lay grenades and have her step on them. Oh yeah, you can have Leon. <laughs> I was reading your comment there. I was trying to understand the essence of it. I'm like, you can totally keep Leon to yourself. Don't, don't. Oh, I'm to guard. I'm inching ever so closer. Yes, I do. Can I shoot it open? Come on. I will open this door. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to open this door. Oops, sorry. Wrong place. Damn it. Oh, for nothing. I was inching towards that door for no reason. Am I making any progress? I don't think I'm making any ground on her. Am I going the wrong way? I don't think I'm making any progress that direction. It must be. Yeah, 
that's totally this door. This door is totally how we got in. for it. Oh, we're to run. Run, 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 run. Jesus, run for it. Run, 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 run. I think the 25th anniversary of Tomb Raider, blah blah blah, and for us fans, you can experience this game. Again, Fortnite, which don't get wrong, I literally lost treasure. I feel like you could fans only celebrate just like it's great. Well, they said they're working on a new game, but they said they just have a huge challenge ahead of them that they have to unify the them. You need to walk or run towards her. The crystal dynamics have a huge. Give it to her. Thank you. I was like, what am I doing wrong here? I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong there. <gasps> it's the grandmother. Yeah. Why does everyone hate me? I did not see that coming. I knew the granny was up to no good. I mean, she was in her wheelchair getting to parts of the house that were like not wheelchair accessible. I knew she could do something, but I did not see that coming. Oh wait, there's a boss battle. Aim for the eyes. It's always the eyes. I didn't realize we were doing a boss battle. Oh, well, that would have been more. Did I die? Oh, this is classic Rise 7 or Resident Evil. Whoa! Our bombs are useless, they're never gonna reach up there. Get up! Get up! Well, I guess I just have to shoot him from the ground then. I think this is all a set piece. I thought that I was playing an actual... I thought we were doing an actual battle here, but I think this is just all... Oh, this is all... Oh, that's my new gun. We should use it before we, uh, before the game is over. Will I play DLCs? If they're included with Game Pass, I'll play them. If they're not included, maybe. Maybe. Oh, use what? Get the gun. Oh, there's some, the military dropped a crate for us. I think it's included with Game Pass.
Okay. We're good. She's turning into calcium. That was interesting. Whew. That was intense. She was dragged. I knew Granny was involved. All those times in the beginning when I was like, slit the, slit the throat, we should kill her. Complete the game. I played this on normal. I swear I played this on normal. I played this on normal. I never played this on easy. I played this on normal. I I am so angry. I got ending too. Okay, there we go. Who's this? Is this Chris? Or Leon? It's Chris! Yay! My hot handsome man. Chris Redfield. Redfield. The fuck took you guys so long? Hooray! I'm gonna try the I phone at the you. window. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Well, it wasn't my achievement, honestly, gaming. I didn't want you guys. <gasps> he was done with Mia. He just threw that out the window. I thought maybe he wanted a memento or something. say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. It did. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the bakers. It was oh, that thing, Evelyn, who made them that Justice for Zoe. Zoe deserves so much better than Evelyn's that. Dead. These guys are here to clean up the mess. And thankfully, Ethan can move on to the real man and have a real relationship I with Chris Ratchet. I just come to terms with losing Mia the first time, but now I've lost her again. Yeah, yeah. And the only other door I can see is closed. Is closed. And Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me play this that was a fun stream honestly gaming says i got the bad ending but i disagree i bet the right choice picking zoe over mia i stand by it every time i didn't realize though the game was immediately going to kill zoe as punishment I mean, I guess it just worked out that Ethan can end up a Chris now. I mean, that's the canon ending, for sure. Give the games what they want. But like, Mia deserved so much more. I wouldn't have obviously chose Mia if I knew there was, the game was going to punish me by killing her. But like... Mia was so useless to us. She took her hand off. She did nothing. Go tell Aunt Rody that everybody's dead. <laughs> now that's the music, that's the song. No, I just... Me Zoe deserved so much better. She was so helpful. She met the vaccines for us. She guided us through the house. She left guns for us in all the places. And Mia did nothing. And the game still gave me a bad ending because I chose Zoe. I mean, who wouldn't choose Zoe? Zoe was S tier helpful in this adventure. I'm sorry I'm talking over your song, though, on a C gaming. I don't want to get the copyright strike. But that is the game. These must be like their visual inspirations. And I kind of want to skip this, but maybe there's something at the end. Fast forward. Oh, that was the Baker family dinner. 
can't get over it though. The granny did it. Can't believe the granny did that. Sorry, I'm just thinking about what the granny did. It's it's taken its toll on me. We had so many opportunities to kill the granny. Well, if you want to know Zoe's fate, next time get the good ending. And if you get the DLC, you'll know Zoe's fate. You won't get a copyright claim. Too late, sorry. Picking Zoe was the good ending. I didn't realize that would happen. I mean, look, I would have picked me, of course, but I didn't want to do spoilers and check ahead of time. You played the song and no copyright claim. Oh, that's cool. So, these are my final results. Difficulty, normal. Play time, nine hours, 20. Bit longer, because I loaded back to an earlier save, I think in part two or something, because I just got somewhere. Did not destroy all the totems of the bobby heads. I only got half. 18 restarts. Uh, got 13 out of the 18 anti-coins, which is not too bad. Obtained 27 out of 32 files. Not bad also. 95 item boxes opened, 30 healing items used, one stabilizer, and four steroids. Uh, we unlocked the, uh, is that the drill, I think? You can get in the next one. And there's Handsome Chris. It's free content, download for free via the more menu. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how I did for my first time. <laughs> I don't think I'm playing this the second time. <laughs> I can't go through that again. Uh, maybe I should have made a save before I chose. Where did my saves go far? I think I, I think I saved over it though. I think I saved over. Create the serum. Does that mean I saved the yard? I could potentially resume this because the boathouse. We could potentially resume and get the good ending. <laughs> That'll be another time because Resident Evil 8 is coming out pretty soon. Um, let's see if I can play Madhouse. We'll not be doing that. Uh, for extra content, some of these tragedies suffered. Be like, not a hero. Play End of Zone. Oh, that's so sad. End of Zoe. Mm. What else can I get? I mean, maybe we'll do some of this, should we? I mean, I wasn't gonna... I need to download all this stuff in advance, you see. Yeet. That was fun though. Yay, we did it! Oh, that was epic. So epic. I mean, how long have I been streaming for? We've been going for about under an hour. Honestly, gaming, any critiques of my gameplay? I enjoyed Enazori more than Not a Hero. Really? Interesting. Well, I guess I might as well down. Well, I don't want to interrupt my stream if I download them. The internet connection might go. Do we have any critiques of my gameplay? Was I, I wasn't, I wasn't sparring enough. Like I wasn't doing that. I forgot the button to do that until the end. Oh, did great for the first time. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. The game went on a bit, I played it longer than I expected to. Cause other people could stream this game in about six hours. And I think it'll be like 10 hours if you guys decide to watch this all. Um, but I put chapter times in the videos, which I think help because you can then kind of skip around. Um, part one, it's like the, the, the first house, uh, the main house. I think we get outside in part one. Part two is like dealing with the mother in the, in the grass house, in the greenhouse and the old house. Part three is like a lot with the brother. And then obviously this is part four, uh, the finale. But we did, we did pretty well. Oh, you should see part one. Like, you don't have to watch all of it because you just played Resident Evil 7, but part one, you'll get like... It's hard because like, you have to think about where the jump scares are. 
Like the, the good jump scare in the greenhouse. I never saw that coming. That scared the life out of me. Um, hmm. You've beaten this in seven hours. That's pretty good. That's a good time for, for normal. Well, like uh, some resource management. Oh yeah, the Resident Evil 3 remake, I did that in like five hours. And I think when I edited it down, you can literally watch my Let's Play in three hours. Like I I cut it down to just the necessary bits. That was a shorter game for sure. This one went on longer. Although I did Resident Evil 2 in two nights. That was, that was the same as three. I think I played Resident Evil 2 longer. Oh, my dogs are barking. Yeah, so do you know when you're in the greenhouse and Marguerite Baker, you're, you're going up the stairs. So it's before you battle her to get her lantern and you go up the stairs and she pops out through the window. Did not see that coming. Didn't see it coming in the old house when we were going up the stairs to the crow key where you got to find the, 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 fir the first target. Yeah. And when she pops out, I didn't see that coming. I... Did Jack Baker scare me? I don't know if... She did a lot because when you get the, uh, the spider piece in the basement of the old house and Mia's been taken by the brother and then you come back and you open the door and Marguerite's like, stay the F out. That scared me. So I think, yeah, Margaret was probably more scary for me than the father because the father, the garage, you did him in um, Underground. It's really funny though. Like, I love getting scared. It's why you stream it. Like, it's, it's for the fun. It's for the loss. But the dad, I think it's because he just knew that was coming. Like, you knew the police officer was going to be killed. You knew, you knew um, when he went to the dissection room in the basement you'd have to fight off with the father. I remember that. Um, when he turned into the big monster in the boathouse, you kind of knew that was coming. The brother... Did we even kill the brother? Wait, did we even kill the brother? I don't even think the brother died. Wait, which one was Lucas? Wait, was he the big monster in the boathouse? I thought that was the dad. Lucas Baker. Oh, plot twist. Was Lucas then the big thing in the boathouse? I thought that was the father. What? I don't even think we killed Lucas. No, Lucas is alive. Lucas ran away. Uh, he must be in the DLC. Oh, it says it here. And the main ontologist in the DLC is 21 and not a hero. Ah, I see. I see. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Damn it. Maybe we'll, we'll do some DLC. I'm just afraid if I download it now. My dogs are probably going to see if it's, if it's not a lot of content. Will I have to... Mm. Xbox is really tricky with how fast it takes to download stuff. Sometimes things download really quickly and other times it's so slow. Oh, that's going to take a while. Uh oh, we ain't been, we're not going to be able to do this in today's stream, unfortunately, folks. But maybe we'll do like another stream and we just go through all the DLC together. That'd be fun. But I've been streaming for just over an hour now, so maybe we'll leave it off here for this stream. Um, that was a lot of fun, actually. I really enjoyed that quite a bit. That was good. I, I'm, I guess I'm a bit sad that I waited so long to play it. I really just thought I'd be too scared to play it. And frankly, I think I could have could have been a bit scarier 
um, the first half of the game was stronger when it was more scarier because by the end I got so many weapons I was just able to like just plow through them I mean I didn't even use all the bullets um, but yeah it was nice meeting you honesty gaming I'm gonna leave it off here if you guys enjoyed watching obviously do subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if you're watching this on playback obviously thank you so much to honesty gaming for tuning in check out his resident evil 7 let's play he said he did one yesterday and yeah i'm gonna leave it off here drop a comment down below if you have any questions about what i've done here what i've created in the resident evil studio and i will see you all very soon in the next one bye everybody